Breaking news, Nigeria's NFPC adjust price template for Dangote Refinery Petrol. See the changes in price. My people, my people, before now, people, they get the feelings. Say if Dangote Refinery start operation, safe way, it go ship oh. But the way the matter they go so, it can't show say the Dangote Refinery way be say it can't over there this our country. It not still make better difference for the foreign matter oh. So my people, my people, I go proceed with this report. Barely hours after releasing a price template. For petrol lifted from Dangote Refinery, the Nigerian National Petrol Corporation Limited, where we know as NAPCL, they don't release an updated template adjusting the prices on the template. Although the estimated prices for selling petrol around the country remained the same. The NFPCA, they can't alter the analysis of the transaction it had with Dangote Refinery. Checks showed that the areas of differences between the first price statement and the second was that why the NMDPROA, the fee was 899 Naira. The second statement showed 4,495 Naira. Also, why the first statement had an inspection fee of 0 Naira. That means 0 0.97 Naira. A margin of 26.48 Naira. And a distribution fee of 15 Naira. The second statement did not indicate inspection fee and margin. Also, the distribution and logistics fee was changed to 42.45 Naira. Besides, the second statement had an additional mine stream and gas infrastructure fund MDGIF of 4,495 Naira. The MDGIF is a government fund set up to invest in infrastructure projects that will improve transportation and processing as well as utilization in the sector. Recall that last Sunday, you can see say the NLPC began loading the first Batch of petrol from Dangote Refinery saying it got petrol at 898 naira per liter from the private refinery. However, early on Monday, the National Oil Company released estimated prices of petrol obtained from the Dangote Refinery in its retail stations across the country, stressing that in line with the provisions of the Petroleum Industry Act, PLA, petrol prices are not set by government, but negotiated directly between parties. The NLPC can confirm that it is paying Dangote Refinery in USD for September 2024, PMS, Offtake as Naira transactions will only commence on October 1st, 2024. The NLPC can assure that if the quoted pricing is disputed, it will be grateful for any discount from the Dangote refinery, which will be passed on 100% to the general public. You see, sir, from the way the team be, based on the way the NAPC, they take by the petrol from Dangote refinery with the kind breakdown where we say they don't break and down. So, 
Come indicate say the final price from the Dangote refinery was 898 naira 0.78. According to the statement, while distribution within Lagos is 15 naira per liter, inspection fee is 0 0.97 naira. Nigeria Mine Street and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority NNDPROA fee is 8.99 naira with an expected margin of 26.48 naira. Before lifting petrol from the Dangote refinery that of Sunday, NFPC retail outlets in Lagos sold petrol for around 855 naira and 897 naira in Abuja. Meanwhile, John Keke Ocean will be the National Welfare Officer of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria has said that the father NLPCA sells petrol lifted from Dagote refinery higher than imported ones does not make sense. So it can stress that what the new price of petrol can mean say be say there was no cause for celebration if imported products are cheaper. The IPMAN executive, he can explain that it was assumed that the product should be relatively cheaper because it is no longer being shipped in from abroad. He can argue that the fuel that NFPC is getting from Dangote cannot be costlier than the one imported because it has the advantage of the removal of a huge part of supply logistics. So it can say the product we are about to get from Dangote refinery cannot be costlier than one imported because of the advantage of supply logistics. Now, so he can't repeat the matter. He said if Dangote refinery's petrol price is 950 naira per liter without government intervention, it means under recovery gradually comes to an end and maybe Nigerians won't get it cheaper. In a statement by opposition political groups, under the coalition of United Political Parties, CUPP, released by its National Publicity Secretary, will be Mr. Peter Ame. The group can question the 898 naira per litre price tag, arguing that it undermines the economic benefit of having an in-country refinery. Mr. Amekon echoed the position of IPMAN, saying that without all those charges, where he said they involve and other tariffs, he said Dangote pricing supposed to be lower. CUPP therefore called for an immediate probe by the National Assembly to investigate the lack of transparency where he said they surrender. Fuel pricing, no. He can't say of a truth the way the matter can't be so. He can't show say this Dangote refinery where they in operation in all who help Nigeria. So, according to experts, the ongoing price war between Dangote refinery and NFPCA has left Nigerians in a state of uncertainty with no clear resolutions in sight. So my people, my people, you go see say the kind of leaders where we get, they no be ammo, they not get the interest of the masses at Atto. Before now, people they think say if this Dangote refinery come into operation for a matter, it go come better pass as a bio. But the way the matter be so, you see say any changes it not do. That want to tell you say. Our leaders, especially the politicians of nowadays, that they play 
with the ordinary Nigeria. So leaders, where be said they know what did they happen, may they rise up, may they work together, may they find solution to this matter of economic hardship where this were the cause for this country. Because the way the matter they go, so it shows say things go dear the more. So my people, my people, this matter I go wrap them up here. This Nabli channel. I better make you not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. <music>